So today we are going to learn how to run a Pearson correlation in JASP in a study where we would like to see if there is a relationship between life satisfaction and life certainty or how satisfied you are with life and how certain you think your life is. So this, this will also show us the direction of the relationship based on the sign we have on our correlation coefficient. So later I will explain what positive and negative correlations mean. So the first thing that we have to do now is we have to go on to our regression and then click on correlation. So this is what we need. And then to do this, all we have to do is click on the variables that we want to correlate. We have to make sure that they are continuous variables since this is one of the assumptions of Pearson correlation. So I will be discussing assumptions in a different video. So in this example, all we have to do now is click on Pearson's R. And we can already see that in the table, we have a 0.354 correlation coefficient. But that is not just what we need in here. We also need to report the p-value. And then uh, we also need the sample size. So to report this now, we can say that a Pearson product moment correlation was run to find out the significance, magnitude, and direction of relationship between life satisfaction and life certainty. Results show that life satisfaction and life certainty were found to have a significant low positive correlation with a degree of freedom of 144 and a 0.354 correlation coefficient and a p-value of 0.001. We have to take note though that correlation does not mean causation. This means that there is no causality between the variables. So what we can see here is that whenever life satisfaction increases, then there is also a chance that life certainty of a person would also be increasing. And if one decreases, the also, also the other one decreases. So this is what is meant by correlation. Now I'm going to show to you how you can run the data on SPSS. So we are running the same data and all you have to do is click on analyze and then we go to correlate and then make sure we click on by variate. And then we have to look for our variables and put them in the variables box. And we have to make sure that the Pearson box is checked and then we can also use Spearman if we check, if we think that our assumptions are not satisfied, then click on OK. So as you can see here, we actually have the same values from our JASP results. So you can actually run both, you can actually run the data in both of these softwares and find no difference in their results. So I hope you learned something today. And please like, comment, and share if you have some things you want to say. Peace.